Hi, another video from Fast Tech. This is uh, a video describing in detail the options on a PS4 Slim safe mode menu. Sometimes your console is gonna get stuck in, a, in an update loop or it could get stuck uh, on the safe mode screen itself or you could, have, you could be having some other update related issues. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get your PS4 Slim into safe mode and how to get your PS4 Slim out of safe mode if it's stuck in safe mode. All right, so this is a perfect example of why you'd want to get your PS4 in safe mode uh, because what's happening with this PS4 Slim currently is it's stuck in on this screen here. Uh, whenever you turn it on, it says a serious error has occurred in the system software, the PS4 will restart. And if you press OK, hopefully nothing's going to happen, as I'm going to demonstrate. It's just going to restart. Uh, and it's just gonna keep doing this. It's gonna go to a screen where it's gonna try to restore the software, but it's not gonna work. And it's just gonna keep bringing you back to the screen. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix this problem and many other issues uh, by, getting in, by getting the system into safe mode. Uh, so basically what we're gonna do is uh, we're, gonna plug, we're gonna plug the console in. Uh, we're gonna make sure that the power cable and the HDMI video cable is, is plugged in. Okay, then we're gonna press and hold the power button. Okay, we're gonna press and hold the power button. It's gonna beep once. It's gonna beep twice. And on the second beep, we're gonna release the power button. Okay, and then we're gonna see this screen right here. It says uh, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable and press the PS button. So now we're going to plug in our controller via USB. We need to make sure that the uh, controller is plugged in through USB because it's not going to work wirelessly in safe mode. Okay, so once we're in safe mode, um, we're going to see this screen. And it's going to say safe mode in the top left corner. It's going to say connect to DualShock using the USB cable and press the PS button. Okay, uh, we have our controller plugged in by USB and then we're gonna press this PS button right here and then the safe mode menu is gonna come up and we see a bunch of options here the first one's restart PS4 uh, I like to call this the useless option because you can always do that with a power button or just pulling the cord the second option uh, says change resolution and this one's handy if um, if you have put your console in in a mode that it doesn't support um, for example, if your TV only does 720p and you put the console uh, in, uh, your TV only does 720p but you, you put your console in a 1080p mode uh, and then what's going to happen is you're going to see a black screen and you're not going to be able to see anything. You might hear sound but nothing's going to show up on the screen. So for that, this option is really, really useful. Uh, we could go in there uh, and then it's going to restart the console and it's going to reset it's going to ask you for the video output resolution which you can set to 720 1080 480 and a bunch of other options if you have a pro then there's uh, going to be higher resolution options but we're not doing that right now so we're going to press cancel third option is to update the system software um, you can do that via a usb storage device uh, like this one here i've already prepped it with the software um, you can do it from a disc or you can do it using internet um, and you can the first option I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that uh, if you check the description box I'm gonna show you guys how to make that USB stick uh, a lot of people get confused about the USB stick and uh, they, they, they can't seem to get it right uh, the USB stick needs to be fat 32 format you need to make a folder in there called PS4 another folder in there called update and then put the update file in there I'm gonna put the instructions in the description box um, update from disk. I've never really used this option, but some people have done it. You can burn it on a disk and then update it like that. The third option is update it using internet. We're not doing that right now, uh, so I'm going to go back. Uh, fourth option is to restore the default settings. This will uh, restore your PS4 back to its factory settings, uh, like when it left the factory. Um, so all resolution settings, any network settings, all of them are going to be reset. Number five is rebuild database. This one uh, basically checks certain files and file systems on the hard drive and rebuilds them. Uh, this could take three to four hours and it only works in 
rare instances. So make sure you have a lot of time if you're going with this option. The sixth and seventh options are the most useful ones in my opinion. Uh, so the sixth one is initialize PS4. Basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna reset everything uh, back to uh, factory settings, all the software, uh, the software is going to be set to factory settings, all your data is going to be gone, everything is going to be wiped from the hard drive, so only do this, only do this as a last resort option, because you will lose all your local saved files, anything online, like your online accounts, your PSN account, as long as you remember your password, you'll still have your online progress and the games that you bought, you can just re-download them, but they will be deleted off the hard drive. That's a question I get asked very frequently, so I'm answering it right now instead of answering it 50 times in the comment section. Uh, so we're not, we're not gonna do this one yet. We're gonna go back. The seventh option is the option to initialize the PS4 and also reinstalling the system software. Uh, and we're gonna reinstall the system software from this USB stick here. Um, I'm gonna plug it in on the, in the console. Uh, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna press OK. It's gonna reinstall the software and delete everything off the console. Uh, this option will fix most issues, unless you have a hard drive issue. If your hard drive is broken, this is gonna fail on you, uh, and um, it, probably at 60% or 99%, or it's gonna fail to initialize. Uh, and that's because you have a dying or a dead hard drive, and we sell those on our website. I'm gonna put a link in the description for those, uh, if you wanna buy it directly from us. Uh, for shipping is free worldwide, so it doesn't matter where you live on the globe, we can ship it to you for free. So I'm gonna plug the USB stick in, in our PS4's USB port, okay? And I'm gonna press okay, and we're gonna start installing the software. Okay guys, so if any of these steps fail, uh, you most likely need a new hard drive, okay? This is a PS4 Slim hard drive right here. We sell these on our website. We sell them with, with the cage, uh, as you can see here, and without the cage. If you buy it without the cage, you're gonna have to uh, remove these Phillips screws uh, and then install the hard drive in your cage and then uh, uh, slide it in. I have another PS4 Slim. I'm gonna show you how to remove the hard drive. Uh, so what you do is, if it, it's, you gotta stand up your PS4 Slim like so and you're gonna see a plastic panel on the top here. You can just lift it up, okay? And then there's gonna be a Phillips screw here. Okay, I've already removed it. This, it looks like this. You're gonna remove that Phillips screw, and then you're gonna pull the hard drive out, and then install the new one in, like so. Slide it in, install the screw, put this piece back on. I have a whole video uh, that shows you how to do this in detail. I'm gonna put a link uh, for that video in the description box. So if these steps fail, uh, yeah, or if you get stuck at the initialize screen, or get stuck at 66% or 99% or it just gives you an error after doing the update or, or, or you do the update successfully but then the problem comes back uh, then you definitely need a new hard drive and I'll put a link in the description uh, for those. We sell them 500 gigabytes, one terabyte and two terabyte options at the time I'm making this video but we might have more options in the future. Once it restarts you're going to see this screen and now we're good to go. Now we're going to see a blue screen. When, it's set, when, it, when you see this screen, that means it was a success. We're going to connect the controller again, press the PS button, select our language. Uh, we're not going to connect to a network right now. We're going to let the customer do that. Canada, set the date and time. Okay, and now we're good to go. Ready to game. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you want to receive notifications. Uh, and don't forget to like our videos and comment on them. We try to respond to as many comments as humanly possible. Uh, and also don't forget to check out our website and any parts, tools, or repair services if you don't want to do it yourself at www.fasttech.ca and I'll catch you in the next one.